The EGR valve is at the front of the engine here and in order to access it you need to remove the engine cover. So you can see the important section is here, this pipe that goes down to the exhaust and that's where we add the blanking plate in. So remove these two bolts and then you've got access to put the blanking plate in and the bolts go through the blanking plate um, into the EGR valve. In order to remove these bolts you need an M10 spline. That goes in there and then remove that one and there's a second bolt just under here. Um, once those are done we can just remove that. So I'm just going to remove the, the, the bolts now. So once these are loosened you can just undo them. And there's one out. You can see the spline. It's the same with the other one. What I've actually just done here is this module just unclips from the bar there, which just gives a little bit more extra access. Once you remove the bolts, you have just enough clearance to be able to move the pipe, and here we have the EGR blanking plate, and that will slide in here. What I've also made sure is that the gasket sits on the EGR valve side, not the exhaust side. Um, and that again, just squeeze in there and you can then re-tighten the bolts. So once you have the bolts in, just a case of tightening them up. clamping it onto the, the blanking plate and the gasket and just put the clip back in place as well. So the engine cover is now refitted, the EGR blanking plate is in place. Um, all now is to uh, drive the car and see the difference it makes.